Hey guys and welcome back to Living with Pixels. Let's talk about WooCommerce. So three months ago, I posted this in the community tab on YouTube. And I said, hey, I wanna make a video about WooCommerce, a one hour video, let me know what you guys want. And then I got a lot of comments from people who wanted a lot of different things. As you can see, custom dashboard, email customization, filters, variation styles, shipping zones, product page, homepage checkout, archive page, category customization, how to build a webshop with Elementor, no pre-built teams. And the list goes on and on and on. So then I tried to put everything in one video, but I soon realized that that was just not possible and uh, not because it's so hard for me, but more importantly, because it's just not practical for you. I mean, there are already WooCommerce videos on YouTube of like three hours, but let's be realistic here. What do you really need? What you really need is not just knowing how to create one kind of web shop, because there are so many different kind of web shops. You can create web shops with free tools, you can create web shops with just Elementor Pro and free tools, and you can create web shops with Elementor Pro and pay tools. And then within web shops, you have simple web shop with just simple products. You have web shops with product variations. You have web shops that are connected to a booking site. So my realization was that it's just not smart for you and for me to make one big video of one, two, three hours where I try to put everything in one video. It's much better if I give you different videos, so a series, so that you know what's possible. And then when a client approaches you that you know what you can do so what I want to do for WooCommerce is I want to create a series so then if I learn something new I can also add that to the series because WooCommerce web shops are also relatively new to me compared to what you can do with Elementor Pro I know Elementor Pro very well right now but before this series I didn't have a lot of experience with WooCommerce now I have because I've been practicing so what I've been able to do is create a web shop like this with just Elementor Pro and free tools. I will show you the whole web shop in a second, but what I wanted to say is that, that I will show you how to create a web shop with Elementor Pro because most of you guys already have Elementor Pro and with Elementor Free, like there is so little you can do with WooCommerce that it doesn't really interest me because the only thing you can do is customize the themes. So the whole workflow that I'm teaching and that I use myself is just useless and I don't wanna do that. So I'm gonna start with Elementor Pro and then free tools. So this whole web shop is built with Elementor Pro and free tools. So I'm gonna show you step-by-step step how to do this, how to create an archive page like this, where you can have categories that automatically filter the products. Then if you click on a product, you can have a custom designed product page that looks like this. And this is not a typical WordPress layout because that's much more boring. As you can see, this style is a little bit different than if you add it to the cart, is that it's automatically added to the cart. And if you click on the cart, then you can go to the cart page that also has the same style as the other pages. Then you can go to the checkout. And the checkout page also has the same kind of design, a little bit less custom, but still in that same flow. So that's pretty cool what you can do with Elementor Pro plus free tools. I do, however, want to warn you kind of that WooCommerce is much less customizable than just using Elementor Pro for a website that maybe has dynamic content, right? So it has a blog or it has a portfolio page, just a few normal pages because you're dealing with so much dynamic data. So it's almost impossible to have that same workflow that I recommend, which is create your design in Adobe XD and then go into Elementor because you are limited by what WooCommerce has to offer, and especially when you're working with free tools next to Elementor Pro. So I just wanted to give a little bit perspective before I start this series that that workflow is almost impossible. But what you can do, which will make your design consistent throughout the website, is create kind of like a style guide. I don't know if I've ever showed this on YouTube, but it's in my Adobe XD course. 
But what I do most of the times when I start in a new project is that I create all the buttons, the titles and the body text and the links in Adobe XD before I go in a project. And then I use that style consistently on the website and in that way, you're still pretty sure that the website looks nice and that it doesn't feel like a hundred different templates that are put together. So that's a little bit perspective that I wanted to give. I'm also going to show in this series how to connect payment providers to your website using Stripe. So as you can see uh, in this website, for example, you can pay with cash and delivery, PayPal and credit card. And these actually work right now. This website is in a test mode, but then I will show you how to put it live. So in the first five or six videos, I'm gonna show you how you can set up a simple web shop and then I wanna make it more custom and show you more options so that you will build an actual useful skill set when working with WooCommerce because that's just impossible within one video. That is how I can be of the most value for you guys. And I know it's not as fancy as putting everything in one video, but I care more about quality than quantity even though these are more videos <laughs> but you get the point point. and what's also pretty cool is that I made a new page on the living with pixels website so if you go to livingpixels.com right now you can see this new button over here called playlist so if you click on playlist I have put the all the basics videos in here uh, also my web design portfolio series but here you have this new option called WooCommerce now it's empty uh, because I'm creating this series right now um, but all the videos about WooCommerce will be in this playlist so that you don't have to search in my YouTube channel and get lost in all the content that's going to be uploaded. Because I have so much more videos to create, maybe I'm going to upload all the videos of that first few episodes in one week and then I will take a little break. There will be other videos in the meantime and then slowly I will release more videos about WooCommerce that are much more advanced. There will be a lot of videos very soon and uh, yeah, that's it. I hope to see you in the next next episode again all the videos in this series are gonna be on this page and uh, then I will hopefully see you in the next video